Hello everyone, Iris Franz here. Today we will continue to talk about monopoly. In particular, I will explain why marginal revenue is lower than the price for monopoly. Remember that a monopolist is a single seller in the market, so it faces the downward sloping market demand curve by itself. Therefore, a monopolist is a price maker, and it can determine both the quantity and the price of the good or service that it sells. Here, suppose I own the only pastry shop in a tiny village. My quantity demanded is given by 50 minus the price. If I sell my cake at $50, no one will buy it. If I sell the cake for $49, the quantity demanded is 1. If I sell the cake for $48 each, quantity demanded is 2, and so on. With the information of price and quantity demanded, I can calculate my total revenue. Total revenue is equal to price times quantity. When the price is equal to $50, quantity demanded is zero, so my revenue is 50 times zero, which gives me zero dollars. When the price is $49, quantity demanded is equal to one, so my revenue is equal to $49 times one, which gives me $49. When the price is $48, quantity demanded is 2, so my total revenue is $48 times 2, which gives me $96, and so on. With the information of total revenue, I can calculate marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is equal to the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. So how did I get the marginal revenue of the first unit? It is the change in total revenue, $49 minus $0, divided by the change in quantity, 1 minus 0, which gives you $49. What about the marginal revenue of the second unit we sell? Again, it is a change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity, which will be $96 minus $49 divided by 2 minus 1 and that will give us $47. Continue with the same method to calculate the marginal revenue. You will find that marginal revenue, which is in purple color, is always lower than the price, which is in blue color, except for the first unit. For the first unit, the price is equal to the marginal revenue, $49. However, starting from the second unit, Marginal revenue is always lower than the price. When the quantity is equal to 2, the price is equal to $48, and the marginal revenue is equal to $47. When the quantity is 3, the price is $47, while the marginal revenue is equal to $45. Why is marginal revenue always lower than the price except for the first unit? Here is the reason. When the price drops from $49 to $48, the monopolist will have to lower the price for both the first and the second unit, not just the second unit. Therefore, while your marginal revenue goes up from the sale of the second unit, your marginal revenue also goes down from cutting the price for $1 from the first unit. Therefore, the net gain is $48 minus $1 which gives you $47. Therefore, the marginal revenue of the second unit is only $47. Likewise, when you sell the third unit, you need to lower the price of all units, including the first and the second unit. Although you get an additional $47 from the third unit, you will lose $1 each from the first unit and the second unit. Therefore, your net gain is $47 minus $2, which is equal to $45. Therefore, the marginal revenue is lower than the price except for the first unit. The reason is that the monopolist must lower the price of every unit when it wants to sell more and not just lowering the price of the additional unit. Here is a tip about how to sketch the demand curve and the marginal revenue curve. First, sketch your downward sloping market demand curve. Second, 
find the middle point between zero and the intersection of the demand curve and the horizontal axis. From that point, sketch your marginal revenue curve. Notice that marginal revenue can be negative. Except for the first unit, pick any quantity, say Q1, you will find that the price is higher than the marginal revenue. Here is the summary of monopolist demand curve and marginal revenue curve. A monopolist faces a downward sloping market demand curve by itself. Therefore, to sell more units, the monopolist must lower the price of all units, not just the additional units it wants to sell. As a result, marginal revenue is lower than the price, and the marginal revenue curve is below the demand curve. Marginal revenue can be negative. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.